I would say that the problem remains at the very top. It's been the problem since the beginning, and oh, it continues to be. you have an interesting be. theory on this. Right. Well, Thank the you. idea that, that Jim Whitehurst yeah. would be the guy who actually should take the over at some point. Of Red Hat. Of Red Hat. Yeah. Yes. And I, and I still believe that, because that's where they're going. That's their biggest acquisition, $34 billion acquisition. And why wouldn't that be the direction, just like Microsoft? I mean, it makes so much sense to me that Here's the guy who's who's coming with the company. Why not let him run the company? Because that's where they're moving to, away from legacy into cloud. They're number one in hybrid cloud. They showed some of the growth. I think they could show a lot more growth. Microsoft was able to do it five years or so ago. Why can't IBM? They overpaid for Red Hat. I think they would admit that. And I understand the growth for Red Hat, by the way, should be at a record when you have the IBM machine behind you. So that's not, I don't think we're sort of splitting the atom when we say that. With that said, the legacy business are just awful. It's amazing they can't get out of their own way. So, look, maybe this is a one-off quarter. Maybe they'll start to get their mojo behind it, but it's one disappointment after another. I want to stay positive because I do think maybe they've turned the corner, but this quarter says not so much.